The month is July, and our air conditioner has been broken for eight days. And I get it. This is like the epitome of first world problems. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are doing way worse than I am. They're in way worse situations. They're way warmer than I am. But it's hot. It's warmer inside of my house than it is outside of my house. And I don't mean to complain, so I won't anymore. I'm going to do something about it. Because, you know, make lemonade. But I'm not actually going to make lemonade. Although that would be pretty delightful right now. So if you go online and you look up solutions to beat the heat during the summer or to stay cool, there's a lot of different solutions for making your own air conditioner, which surprisingly doesn't involve any air conditioner parts. There's two popular types. One is made out of a bucket and the other one out of a styrofoam cooler, a fan, and some ice. And I've always watched those videos and thought, do they actually work? Because it doesn't look that hard to put together. Just go to Walmart, buy some crap, punch some holes in some things, and bing, bang, boom, you got an air conditioner. Now, I, I don't expect something like that to cool, like, my entire room. But if it can just help cool my Trentosphere, that's the ecosystem that surrounds the Trent. If I can just keep that cool, then that's fine. Even if it's long enough for me to just, like, go to sleep at night. So let's go to Walmart and buy a bunch of junk. Okay, to make this crappy air conditioner, you're gonna need just a few things. Number one, you're gonna need a fan. Now, they didn't really specify what size. I just basically matched it up to the size of the next thing, which is a cooler. Styrofoam variety. I've seen people make them out of real ones, but, I mean, this is just something kind of cheap that we want to throw together and hopefully throw away if and only if our air conditioner gets fixed. The next item is actually going to be a bag of ice. I opted for this size because it fits in the cooler. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? Everything kind of fits with the cooler. And finally, one of the things that I needed I couldn't find. I needed some type of duct work. I couldn't get PVC. I also couldn't find the dryer return vents. But I did find this, which is an extension for a shop vac. Cool, huh? First things first, I want to take this fan, get it out of the box, and let's make sure the thing actually works, because if it doesn't, well, then I just have a cooler full of ice, which is still cooler than what I am right now. Household use... Oh, that's fine. All right, this thing's pretty fancy. Look at this. Now, see how it's got, like, just a little bit? I want to try and make sure I can cut out for that, but also use this square edge to hold it up in the top of the uh, cooler. Ah, oh, twist ties, my favorite thing. Yay. This has settings zero through zero and three again. Like, what is this? Okay, so you have two threes, two twos, and two ones, and two zeros. Cool. Since this is a visual medium, we have to show you that there's actually wind blowing. Bye, bag. Next, I'm going to grab the lid for the cooler. Now, this part I didn't have to buy because... I have knives. Anybody else like Breaking Bad? Seriously, kids, this part, this thing is sharp. It will cut your skin. I am using a way sharper knife than I need for styrofoam. I just want to get a nice, neat cut. If you are a kid or prone to cutting things that is not supposed to be cut, ask an adult and just be like, I don't know how to, how do I do it? Can you? And then they'll just do it for you. Oh, and I also forgot, uh, I'm going to use a Sharpie to kind of mark everything up. I'm choosing brown because, well, brown is pretty much the ugliest Sharpie, and this is probably going to be the ugliest thing anyone's ever made ever. Plus, it never gets used, so let's, let's do it. Okay, I'm just going to kind of mark my fan. All right, let's see how our stencil turned out. Oh, terribly. Let's make a mess. Oh, cool. I broke it. Ah, oh, it's okay. I can fix. Actually, that's not bad. Now it's got a place for the feet. I can actually tape this little broken piece right inside here. That'll actually help a little bit. Okay, now with the same care and precision, I'm going to have to take and make three holes in the front of this thing. I actually marked the smaller end because I want to be able to wedge all of this in there. Ooh, that's way too low. <laughs> it's okay, there's two sides. Beautiful! Now with the same care and precision, I'm going to have to cut out these holes. Perfect! Alright, now that we've completely ruined this, we need to separate this into three tubes. Nah, wait, there's gotta be a better way to do this. Hey, Dukin! All right, let's just jam them in here in these perfectly made holes. Really just hit me how truly ugly this thing is. Get some ice going. Argyle duct tape. All right, and then let's turn it on. Uh, 
Uh, hmm, not exactly the ice cold reprieve I was looking for. Okay, so here is the monstrosity. It looks like a third grader's battle bot. Now, I know I didn't use the vents that I was supposed to, and I modified the design a little bit based on the size of the cooler that I had. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it my review while it's off. It's terrible. I should have spent $30 at the bar, got drunk, come home and passed out, and just forgot that it was hot in my house. But it did cost less than $30, and it does blow somewhat cool air. Now you notice that since I got finished, I actually added a lot more tape to it. I would mentioned I was going to tape up some of the gaps. I just found every place where there's a little bit of cool air leaking out, slapped a little tape on it. And it, it blows all of the air out of the holes in the front of it. It's just not that cold. Like, I think if I would have just set the fan up, it would feel way cooler. Now it could be because I have the ports on the side of it as opposed to the top. If they're on the top, that means the air's got to go down, circulate around the coldness of the ice, and then blow back up. I couldn't find the parts. It's what I had. So maybe that's why mine's so terrible. Or it might mean that you just can't beat a real air conditioner. So there you have it. Did I waste $30? I think so. I think this is a total pass. It seems like everything I waste money on is in like $30 increments. That must be like the magic number for me. But it was kind of fun. You know, I put something together. Got to show off my sweet maker skills. So, thank you for watching. Come back and check out some more videos. I will have all kinds of other different content. Probably won't be making anything else. You're welcome. All right, now I'm going to mail this to Adam Savage and see if he'll give me a job on Mythbusters. Adam Savage from Tested. Mythbusters. Hire me.